Hey guys, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to discuss Go High Level's email sending best practices and a guide. So this video will help you increase the email deliverability of your Go High Level sub account, whether you are using the sub account for yourself or using the sub account for one of your clients. This is really essential to understand because this has a lot of impact on your email's health. And this is the health article of Go High Level's website. So this helps you understand the entire thing, but this is a really long one to be honest. So I'm gonna try to make it simpler for you. And uh, let's just jump right into it. The first thing they want you to do is set up a dedicated email sending domain or a subdomain. So how you do that is by going to Go High Level sub account and going to settings, going to email services. This is where you will be asked to add a, a dedicated domain. So by creating a dedicated domain, you will not be using Go High Level's own subdomain to send the emails from, from the sub account. So let's say, for example, I use uh, mail.ashaseep.com and this is my dedicated domain. I will link a video that I already did on how to set up dedicated domains for Go High Level in this video's description. So you just have to follow that to set up a dedicated domain. So I don't have to show you how to do it again. So let's say, for example, I have this dedicated domain for this sub account. What's going to happen is if you send emails from info at ashasib.com or hasib at ashasib.com from this sub account, the emails are going to be using this domain, not the subdomain in this case. The domain will match the email or the from email because the from email will be the email that your prospects will be seeing, right? So that has to match this domain. So that's why it's really important to set up your dedicated domain. And yeah, again, watch that video from the, this video's description. So you know how to set up a dedicated domain. The second thing you need to do is set up a dedicated sending IP address. That's really important if you are sending like 200 K emails or more like th this is, this is essential for high volume. So you're not using go high levels shared IP address in order to send emails. Uh, after setting up your dedicated domain or email sending domain, you are using your own domain, but still you will be using the shared IP address of go high level. So my recommendation would be if you're sending thousands and thousands of email from one sub single sub account every single day, then yeah, go ahead and set up sending IP address dedicated. So that's how you do it. And the third thing is email validation. So you will have a lot of emails uh, like, you know, invalid emails or spam emails coming through as uh, contacts will be created in your Go High Level sub account. Email validation and verification is a process that helps you refine those emails. So you don't end up sending emails to like addresses that don't even exist. And that has a a lot of impact on your email deliverability trust me so the bounce rate will be definitely increased by ver verifying and validating the emails how you do that is by going to settings and going to profile uh, let me go to the business profile if i scroll down here are the options to verify the email so this will be turned on you know and this definitely needs to be uh, enabled first from the agency settings and then let me go to agency settings and then let me turn it on. So if I go to settings, if I go to email services, and then I need to go to location settings and then turn this on, that turns on the email verification. So that's one more thing that you've checked now. So you have the dedicated domain, dedicated IP address. If you are sending a lot of emails, of course, you've got email validation. One more thing you need to do is mark email invalid from hard bounce. So that's also something you can turn on from the sub account settings, right? So I'll go to the sub account. I'll go to business profile. I'll go down and mark emails invalid due to hard bounce is turned on now. So that's another setting you have checked. Four of the best tips are covered now, right? So we are increasing our email deliverability for this sub account. Fifth one is adding your DMARC record. So I will also do another video on DMARC record and I will link that video in the description. So you know how to uh, add a DMARC record and how to validate that record. So that's also really important for you to not end up in, you know, promotion or spam or junk folder and all those stuff. If you validate your DMARC record, that means you are one step ahead of the competition or one step ahead of reaching towards perfection of, uh, you know, email deliverability. So the sixth thing I have already discussed is when you set up your dedicated domain, like uh, like mydomain.com or mail.mydomain.com, you need to send emails from info at mydomain.com. 
so the domain and the mail domain needs to match and it needs to be same so you don't end up in spam or you know in any other folder you always end up in the primary inbox of the prospect unsubscribe links is really important guys so you need to make sure you have unsubscribe links on your email body at the bottom or somewhere and you can also turn that on by going to settings right so if you come over here just turn it on and it will by default add an unsubscribe link Th this has a lot of impact so if uh, imagine you are doing drip campaigns and you're doing like all sorts of marketing campaigns unsubscribe links help you if, if they don't want to receive your email that's totally fine they just unsubscribe right if they don't find the link to unsubscribe what they will do is they will block your email and that decreases your email health so definitely don't want to do that use double opt-in i would i would definitely ignore that double opt-in is a pain so uh, stop sending to unengaged emails yeah if they're not responding if they're not opening just stop sending to those send regularly just not too regularly the most important thing over here is warm up so i'll just make it a bit bigger so i can explain it to you what this is all about right so email warm up is a process of warming up new emails right so here you go. This is the routine and I will link this uh, article in my video's description so you'll be able to see what's what's going on here. Email warm up is increasing the rate of sending emails, increasing the rate of sending emails each day or each stage. So in stage one, you can send 100 emails and that's in every hour and daily you can send 1000 emails. So on first stage, when you're just getting started, you can send 100 emails every hour and you can do it using a drip mode or something like that or you can do a manual drip as well so you can send up to 1000 emails in a day on stage 2 then you can increase the hourly sending to 300 and then send 2500 emails a day stage 3 5000 stage 4 6.5 thousand and so on and so forth you just keep increasing it right so what do we mean by the stage in this case if we read this part we will have a better idea so what this reveals is how many emails you can send in a single day or a single hour so for the first emails i send i should send no more than 100 emails which i've already discussed uh when i go to send my next emails so the next batch is what i mean so if i send like a if i have a list of like 5000 this is the file this is how i should complete the entire 5000 list and then the next follow-up of emails for those 5000 list i should follow this sequence and for the next one i should follow this and the next one this so it means stage means in this case the set right or the segment uh if you may call it so this is really important to understand otherwise there's a really good chance that you your email or your domain will be blacklisted so you don't end up in anyone's inbox anymore and trust me recovering emails from blacklist is a whole bunch of pain so i wouldn't want to go that path just follow these steps and if you set up your dedicated domain if you set up your validations verifications and all those stuff and also if you have if you have a proper warm-up sequence in place you should be okay that's all you need to do right and also definitely add your dmark record watch the video from the description and yeah that's that's all you need to do in order to send emails properly from a go high level sub account i hope this video was helpful and again please subscribe if you think this was helpful and i will see you in the next one Thank you.